Okay, when you're in the defensive end room now, do you kind of feel a lot older compared to <laughs> the rest of the room? <laughs> Tough one right off the bat. <laughs> uh, yeah, the good thing is Mott's a year older than me, just to clarify. So I'm not the oldest, but um, yes, I do definitely feel a little older. But um, it's not all bad. Definitely get to be able to help those guys mature and kind of teach them what I've been taught through the years of other players being here as well. So it's kind of a give and take. In what ways is this year's training camp different from any other? Um, I'd say just in the way that they're taking with sports science and our schedule and stuff, um, being able to push when we need to and pull back when we need to based off the data and stuff, that's definitely helped a lot this year. Talking to Coach Wyatt yesterday, he said you have incredible depth at your position. Who's kind of jumping out to you that aren't one of you two old farts? Um, I'd say Ryan Davis has had a really good camp, um, especially in like his pass rushing role. And so he's definitely developed a lot and matured over the past year or so that I've seen personally. And overall, you've seen a lot of K-State defenses. How, how good can this one be? Um, I'd say this one can be just as good as any of the other ones as long as we can play together and kind of be able to communicate well pre-snap, post-snap and everything and get it all together. And so that would definitely help us be successful in this year. A few players today say they think you guys are creating more turnovers, at least in training camp, than you have in the past. How, how in your mind, do you think the defense has gone about doing that? Um, it's definitely a big emphasis. We'll start practice with turnover circuits um, and recovering circuits. So like we'll have one where we go and work on just simo punches and just trying to get us to get our hands up at the line of scrimmage and then being able to recover that if it's wide open out there where we're scooping and scoring or if it's in traffic trying to bring it in and get the ball in your possession. That's been a big emphasis of practice so far in camp. Is there any offensive lineman you've gone up against this camp that's been harder to uh, beat than any of the others? Um, I would say Easton definitely sticks out. He has a lot of experience. His sets aren't always the same. He likes to mix it up. So when you don't know what you're going to get, that definitely changes your moves and how he's attacking you, and it makes it challenging. Coach Wyatt mentioned that one of the reasons you told him that that you wanted to come back was you wanted to to sort of help along along the young guys. I know there's a lot of young talent there. Is how big was that for you, and what what made you want to invest another year? Um, definitely great. Like just all the people that have poured into me from the past, between like Eli Huggins and Tim Horn and people like that, and. Uh, I wanted to be able to do that for some of the younger guys because I know that I had that and then just leaving and uh, I felt like that I, my time wasn't quite done here. So being able to come back and help those guys all that I can, whether it's just something little or something huge, that was really my goal and why I wanted to come back one more year. And the depth you guys have at defensive end, there's been talk about trying to get more of you on the field at the same time. How does how has that looked and what does that mean more four-man fronts or? Um, yeah, kind of changing things up a little bit and then just trying to rotate us in and out a lot. That kind of is a big deal where we get to go in for just a couple plays. That's huge where you're not out there for a long stretch of time and you have fresh bodies rotating in all the time. That definitely helps us out a lot and keep us fresh and being able to um, attack the QB. Yeah. Is there a more specialization, I guess, in that sense too as far as Pass rush situations and and run situations. Um, I would say some. It just kind of depends. I can't really tell in camp right now either. Kind of what Coach Wyatt's thinking. If we're just going based off of our rotation right now, or if it's going to be if it's going to change later when we get into games and we'll be more geared towards that. I'm not 100 percent sure right now. Who's going to lead the team in sacks? <laughs> Hopefully me. <laughs>